Hey, today is a very chill day. Let me check my to do list. Today is a Monday. Today I have to go to O2 and do some stuff with my SIM card. I have to change my bed sheets today. I heard really good news this morning, so I'm quite elated. I'm happy. I'm doing this new thing where I do like collective vlogs because at this point I really be doing random things on random days, and I'll just record those random days, put it in the vlog. I'm calling it a collective vlog. I started using this deodorant that Chidera put me on. I'm never going back. I am never going back. I won't say I swear a lot, but I just get a funky smell at the end of the day. It's not like it's a bad smell, but it's like it's just like a really funky off smell. And I like using this color and get like a funky off smell for the whole of the day. This Mitch um triple order defense. Anyways, it's currently 11 and I've not had breakfast. Like I, I keep on doing this, I need to change. I'm wearing this top from Bershka. Pants from Emil. Yeah, welcome to the vlog. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to make pancakes now because your girl is hungry. The more I live in a shared accommodation, the more I'm being so patient because I can't wait to move out to my own place. Like at this point, I'm tired of seeing people. I'm not in that way. Like people are so dirty. Anyways, that's like my little rant in my head. We have oat milk, sugar, soft raisin flour. Don't need to use baking powder. I don't know why I brought it, but bowl and measuring cups. I normally use the normal lactose free milk for my pancakes, but I only have oat milk in my life right now. So we're gonna have to make do with that. I use one cup. One cup. Half a cup of sugar. But don't we don't judge here. Don't don't ask me jam questions. Sometimes I add egg. It's really not that stress. You don't have to add egg inside your pancakes. It's depending on how I'm feeling, you know. It's not really of a difference in the taste. Check the milk. I pack every extra thing off the table. I don't like a messy kitchen. A little bit of salt. Then I add vanilla extract. I use this one. I think the thing this is from Tesco. A very thick consistency of pancake mix. I also use unsalted butter to increase my pan. I spread the butter around and wait for the pan to be heated. I also use quarter a cup as my serving for the pancakes. It's almost an hour. And I'm not left in my room, but I, I'm ready now. I'm, I'm ready now. I removed my wig and I washed my hair last night. Again, I'm on my whole hair journey, so I'm really serious about my whole hair care routine and everything else. But I've washed my hair, and right now it's like I put a whole load of shea butter in my hair, so I don't feel like putting on a wig on and like, yeah. I'll probably wear this bonnet and wear like a scarf today. This is what we're wearing. I'm gonna wear like a scarf, but. You know what? Really, you should get more beanies like this because it's actually so pretty. Obviously, what I showed you before. I need Crocs because I just be wearing these every single time. When I say that I got to O2, it was closed. Before I left, I checked the website if they're open today and they're like, closing at 5.30. I got there and the thing was closed. I said, wow, what a life. Like, it's not gonna spoil my day. Mm, no, no. I changed my bed sheet to, um, Bed sheets I got from a PR collaboration from Shein. I'ma do that.
shit like the shy, shy. I know I be rich by die. They don't respect you till you try. I'm in local right now and people are watching me record but I'm here to buy uni essential stuff so I've already like bought a lot of I've already, I've already like picked a lot of like notebooks and yeah now I need like pens for a stapler this one but I don't really like it it's black I want it green or pink or something it's more color but it's just black yeah I just got a folder for my script because obviously school is near. I got like a display book. So I can literally put scripts when it comes to class because obviously, again, whenever I say everybody keeps forgetting, but I'm an actor, I'm an acting student. <laughs> this book, because I just forget that, that it has books. I just look at it as like a cute brown and green book. I feel like summer has like almost finished, but like running to the fall slash autumn season. Hence, these colors are now becoming very popular now, so yay. I was like, you know what, let me just get it for a second year. I already own a stapler, so I was like, you know what, let me just get the staples. I call it pins, but it's called staples. I was having a wonderful week. I was. I was really having a great week. But tell me why. Yeah. My glasses broke. I, I cried and cried and cried yesterday. It's, it's alright. It's fine. It's fine. That's, like, that's how life is. That's fine. Because it was just last week when I was thinking, you know what, let me book my eye appointment for this week. And I'm having an eye appointment this Friday, which I'll take you guys to. But I'm going to buy two pairs of glasses this Friday. And again, it takes 7 to 10 business days to get your glasses. So I'm going to be blind for the next two weeks, kind of. And that's so annoying. I was walking around this town, squinting at everything. If somebody waved to me, I wouldn't even see. I have content to film, yes, but I also have to do laundry. I watch everything green right now and put that in the washing machine just really how my day is right now Friday and I have my appointment by 9.50. This week has just been something. Tell me how my glasses broke, okay? I'm walking around this town blind at the money doing. Okay, I'm wearing contacts, but they're contaminated because I need a disinfectant solution for the lenses. If I put them in my eye, they're so uncomfortable. My tripod decides to break. Yeah, and I can't use it. I need a full-on proper tripod. All these trials and tribulations, but I'm just tired. I'm so tired. So I'm back. Basically, the summary from that home appointment is my left eye has become significantly worse. I have to do a contact lens trial very soon because. A girl needs them. But the thing is, I get so uncomfortable with... <sighs> Anyways, I told them about this and they're like, they're going to teach me how to do it properly and I'm going to have like trial sessions and it's completely free. So I found the glasses that I want because even before this spec savers, I had already like planned the kind of glasses that I wanted already. I just want like basic, not basic, but like basically like big glasses. And they were like 15 pound ones and they were like 69 pound ones and they were like 49 but the thing is i had already set 60 pounds for what i'm gonna pay for glasses i initially thought of buying two glasses but now i'm gonna i'm just gonna get one because yeah i just i'm just gonna get one now because of the nature of my prescription i will need to thin my glasses because if i don't thin them they're gonna just be they're going to be big glasses and they like fall out and they cost a lot more just to thin them out which like cost around that kind 80 pounds so it's like bro so i'm gonna have to get 15 pound glasses and because i get a voucher i might pay 53 pounds or 57 pounds for both the glasses and the thinning of the glasses so that's my predicament right now 
today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my uni bag. What is in my uni bag? What are my essentials for my uni life? I'm in mean, my second year of uni. I'll be my second year in September. I'm an acting student, so basically I do a lot of performing arts, drama, theatre, TV and films, stuff like that. I'm an actor basically. And I'm a student at the same time. And I'm just going to be showing you guys what my uni bag essentials are. If you're looking for inspo for what you want to get for uni, especially for my girls in so first we have this bag. I got this bag from MEO and I have the money when I have whatever time I'm gonna use, I'm gonna buy a proper messenger bag. So basically I would like messenger bags for school. It's very handy, I can be on one trip. For my first year I had a backpack and it was so stressful. I started having serious back issues, but obviously you can also have issues with one shoulder. So at this point, anything's an issue. The first thing I always have is obviously my phone but i'm using my phone to record this video so my notebook i basically got a new one the other one i had became ugly so i got a new one <laughs> this is the one i'm gonna be using for second year because second year obviously begins in the fall slash autumn so i have this color because obviously green is my favorite color and brown is my second favorite color this is the book i'm gonna be using for second year i like using one liner books because i can't drop things easily i can always divide a page or something and we have this folder basically called a display book i won't put my name on it yet because i just, I just literally got it i'm gonna be using this folder for keeping scripts when you open it it has places for it to keep papers and all of that because having my scripts in my hand is such a hassle i love to put them in this kind of book i'll probably get a bigger one very soon but for now this display book is what i really like thankfully papier sent me some school academic essentials they gifted me an academic diary for me second year is when the grades actually matter i really want to like start being on my zoom and actually planning school and not missing deadlines and all of that have your about me your timetables and all of that you can also have them customized um, obviously i got it in a green finance planner which is actually very good i have this book because it's also from paper i call this the miscellaneous book because in class i have the most random thoughts and i could be thinking of anything like content ideas or some random thoughts i'm going to be putting them in this book basically like a list notepad we have this is also from KP. I'm so happy they gave me all of this. We have basics, we have highlighters, my favorite pen in the world, black pens, the Nataraj pens, eraser. I also own a stapler. Two pencils, that's by the way. That's all the academic stuff put away. Paper also sent me these ones. Shopping list. I posted this on my Instagram story today. People were asking me where did I get this from? I was feeling like a beauty girl. Anyways, got like a to-do list book from them everything i got here they're all fully customized put my name and everything else on it put chimsome and vibes this book which i'll be definitely going to be using for content planning i'm going to be planning my content in strategy i own a weekly planner i already own one i can't like this to-do list book it's nice that i have this one instead and also remove the pages when you're done with them obviously in my bag i'll have my wallet Lately, I have been becoming such a germaphobe. Can't stand being in places where I know it's going to be dirty. So I own wipes now. Just whenever I need to clean my hands or I need to wipe the surfaces. I own a little mirror. Hand lotion because my hands are always getting dry. Especially when it's winter and it's the fall time. It's going to be windy. I'm getting ashy for no reason. So I love the smell. It has like a cool aloe feeling to it. Even though we have passed the COVID season. I own a hand sanitizer because I still be having PT from that time lately i've been owning gum which is weird i can't chew gum in class because my mind doesn't like allow me to stay focused in class but when it comes to like let's say i'm doing uni work in uni and like we're doing some kind of computer based work i'll always have gum in my mouth lip balm this elf lip plumping gloss pink paloma two perfumes because even though i will leave the morning with loads of perfume in my body i love to we spray again Perfume is basically from Health Farm, basically from Versailles perfumes, and this is just a regular oil aerobic perfume that my dad gave me. A lip liner from X, and I own a tampon because in, just in case I'm in class and I'm having an over leak, I will always have a tampon. Or in case maybe a girl in my class needs a tampon, I would always have a tampon. I always have Capri Zone or some kind of drink, water or some kind of snack with me. 
that is basically what my uni bag looks like yeah I didn't want to vlog the whole process because that was a whole hassle and I was on a call with my friend so I didn't want to like be recording and vlog at the same time made Mongolian beef this is my second time trying like making Mongolian beef it's basically like a Chinese recipe that I found on TikTok I'll leave the recipe in my description box below I'm gonna end this vlog today hope you all have a good day and subscribe to my channel like comment subscribe don't need full please subscribe don't this is not free content and please subscribe because i'm getting i want to get to 5k i want to get to 5k please please before september because my birthday is next month let me have a 5k surprise you know see you